Good morning, folks, all my subscribers. This is Carlton at Carlton's Travel Adventures. Back to do a follow-up video on insurance. I have with me again, Louisa. Hey. With Sora. How you doing, Louisa? How have you been? I'm great. Doing Thank great. you. Another beautiful day in Medellin. Oh, yeah. The day is beautiful and it's fresh. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. So, after our first video, a lot of questions. I'm probably sure you had some questions, too, mm -hmm. from some subscribers about sewer insurance. So, I want to do the follow-up. And before we even start on the details of the policy, one of the most confusing things for me, and I'm sure it was for some uh, subscribers also, the difference between the, if I might say this, pronounce these wrong, mm -hmm. <laughs> the EPOS or EPS EPOS, mm -hmm. which is a government plan, versus po POESA? Polisa. Polisa. <laughs> versus the private plan. Explain the difference between the two. Okay. So, Polisa, EPS, and CISBEN. CISBEN is the subsidized, subsidized, subsidized. subsidized healthcare plan for poor people, just for poor people. So you guys won't be in that plan. So after that we have PBS plan or EPS plan. Okay, so this is like a healthcare plan that we all pay for. So workers, people that are independent, retired, they can have that plan. Polisa, well, Polisa is more like having the PBS, uh, PBS services, but better. Like if you get, if you only have PBS, you will be fine for sure. But if you want more than that, you want preferential attention, you can have that Polisa and have like everything, every kind of service without limitation. Those are the PBS plan, just having that, you, you cannot go to any clinic you want. I mean, if you are in Medellin, you can go only to certain clinics, and that could be annoying. With the police that you can go to any clinic you want, no matter where you are, if you are in Bogota, Cartagena, Barranquilla, you can get to choose your clinic. That's not a problem for us. Also, if you go to an emergency room, you will have to wait in line for hours if you just have EPS or PBS plan. With the Polisa you don't have that problem anymore because Polisa has like agreements with like a lot of hospitals so you you cannot I mean everything is about comfort if you're willing if you think you're not gonna um, use medical services in Colombia I think it will be fine with PBS but Polisa is a really cheap plan and like it's about convenience. You won't have any problem. You won't, you won't, if you want to get an appointment with a specialist, even if it's not in the network, you get a reimbursement. Okay, so don't worry about anything with the police. You will, you will be completely fine. Okay, all right, great. Good explanation. Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. Okay, now the age limit. What's the age limit for getting or not getting the, the, uh, the policy? Well, and now this is the this is POESA or both? No, with the PBS plan, there is no age limit. Okay. As I said before, healthcare is a right in Colombia. So with that plan, you won't have any age limit. But with the POLISA, yes, you have an age limit, which is 62. Over that, you will have to stay only with the PBS plan. Okay, all right, can't get coverage over 62. Okay, mm -hmm. as long as you get it before 62, you're fine. Exactly. But if you go over 62, you, you still stay on a policy. No, but if you get it before, oh, if you get, yeah, you can stay on it forever. Exactly, forever. Okay, all right, great. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, about the government ID, the, the um, what do you call it, government cell cellular? Cellular. Do you need cellular. one. Do you need one to get the policy. Depends on. I mean, if you're coming to Colombia, if you want to live here, it will take you some months to get that ID, the cellular extranjería. So you can have policy without that cellular. Once you get your cellular, you must have the PBS plan. So, first question, what's the difference without or with the uh, cellular? Without the cellular, the only limitation is that you won't have coverage, you won't have travel insurance in your home country. With the PBS, I mean, having the PBS and the policy, there, there is no limitation at all. Okay, sounds good, sounds good, all right. Um, one of the big questions I got from a few people was about family coverage. You know, some people come in here with their families and, um, you know, spouse coverage, 
children coverage if I have one child versus I have 10 kids, you know, is there a big difference in the cost? Can you explain the, the, children, the family coverage for me? Mm -hmm. So you can have your whole family in the same policy, even your ex-wife, by the way. Wait, wait, your ex-wife? Yes, even your ex-wife. Somebody, somebody actually covered their ex-wife? They do. But why would I do it? Okay, don't worry about it. But it, 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 I'm, I'm thinking about why would you cover the ex-wife, but it must be a good, good married, a, yeah, good, a good, I, good divorce. A good divorce. Okay, all right. <laughs> so yeah, you can cover all your family, even nephews, niece, they will be covered. Niece, nephew? Yes. You pay extra for that or what? How does you that have, work? Everybody have to pay for it. I, I mean, uh -huh. let me explain. You you will have to pay more, of course. Right. The good thing is you will have a discount because you're going to have your whole family, family on it. Okay. That's good. So wow. That's I just didn't know that. Just learned that just a second ago. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. okay, family coverage. That is great. So so what if, let's say I retire here. I mean, um, I'm older than my, my wife. I retire here. I'm living here. Wife's going to retire in a year or two. She's still in the U.S. If I have the policy here, is she covered in the U.S.? If she lives in the U.S.? Mm, no. She's not going to be covered in the United States uh, okay. because of what I just told you. If she doesn't have PVS, I mean, she can't right. have... She can't have it. She can have policy. She can have a health coverage here, but not in the United States. Gotcha, gotcha. We can either do that at the beginning, but or, or we can wait until she gets here. Okay. All right. So there's no way to pay extra to cover her over there in a way to pay extra money. Mm -mm. Okay, all there right. There is no way. Good, now you know. All right, got it. Okay. So Louisa, tell me more about the travel insurance uh, part of the plan. Okay, so we have three different plans. We have Evoluciona, Classico, and Global. Global and Classico come with um, travel insurance. So with this travel insurance, you will be covered for 90 days and you have 35,000 euros if you are in the Schengen community and 50,000 dollars in the rest of the country. If you feel like it's, it's a little bit low amount, with Global you have up to 4,000 million cup, million pesos colombianos to spend. I mean, you, if you, if you, if, I don't know, if the bill is over that you can ask for reimbursement okay. with the classico we'll see i mean there there is another difference we need to compare what you what will you spend there and what what you're gonna spend here if i mean with the same value i don't know if i i, okay. I was clear i, I understand it's, it's clear i understand if they want more details and call you but i understand mm -hmm. okay all right next one uh, let's go into uh medication meds coverage mm -hmm. Uh, is more copay and Bob, how do you can you explain the medication portion of the plan? Okay, so with Bolisa, you have no access to medication. Just when, just 30 days before and 30 days after, you get hospitalized or you get a, a surgery. If you want like normal medication, you, you will be covered with the PBS plan, which, all, which also covers like only um, generic medication. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. But so I wanted special medication, I have to pay for it. Yes. Like the top of the line stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Well, the good thing about the police is that if, if you get hospitalized, if you, get, if you use a service, they're always going to use like high quality medication. Oh, okay. That's like the main difference. No matter, you, know how, you're, you don't have to be a hospitalized or get a surgery. You can go to, emer to an emergency room and get the best medicine. Okay, all right. Good, good, good. Uh, next one I had was about in home care. I know in the US if you're sick no one's gonna come to your house and take care of you and you told me you could, there's an option you can pay for in home care? Yes. Wow, You nice. can include that service or you cannot. I mean it doesn't matter. If you feel you're gonna use it uh, very uh, very often you can include it in your plan. But if you feel like no that's like that's no something that I would use always, right, right. you can still use it and pay a copay. The copay is like $10. Oh, okay. All so right. the good thing is like, if you feel like you cannot go to an, uh, an hospital, you cannot move uh, from your house. Incapa you, incapacitated, you can't move. Exactly, okay. you can call a doctor and they, come out, they will come over and yeah, to check on you. Yeah. And also if you need um, an ambulance, you can also call them. Which okay. is really good, yeah. and you will have to pay the same copay, ten dollars. Yeah, it won't happen often, but I do know someone with a really severe back 
problem. And when it, you know, maybe he can't move and go to the hospital if he's really, really, you know, flares up or, you know, just can't move. They can't use that service. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. And a um, couple more. Mm -hmm. um, can someone actually get the poly for, for short term periods? Let's say they're going to live in Colombia for six months, in the US for six months. Can they get a policy for six months? Oh, okay, so this is a yearly plan. This is a really yearly plan. So you, if you feel like you're gonna have, uh, stay here for six months and maybe you will come back and something like that, you can buy the plan. But if you know that you're not, you're just gonna, if you're just gonna stay for six months or like seven or eight, I think the best option for you is getting just travel insurance. Yep, sounds good. So Louisa, the final question I have for you is about dental coverage. Can you explain the details of dental coverage of the plan? Okay, so the policy, the policy won't cover any dental treatment. It only covers dental accidents. But, which is really good, the PBS plan does cover it. So any dental treatment like cavities uh, will be covered and the copay is like one dollar with a PBS plan. You can you can get a uh, deep cleaning. You can get different uh, services. Nothing aesthetical, of course, mm -hmm. but it's it's really cheap and it's the, like the best thing about have both plan having the both, both plans. plans. Right. Okay. You have complementary complementary uh, services for your teeth. Okay. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I think we covered most of the questions, all the questions I could think about. Uh, but, but as always, if you have additional questions, don't be afraid to hit her up um, mm -hmm. on our Instagram or, or in our Facebook page or just you know, write, a, write it in, uh, in, the, um, in the video and we'll try to get back to you with, a, with an answer, okay? I want to thank you for uh, you know, spending the time again going through the stuff. Oh, you're welcome. Thank okay. you for having me here. Hey, no again. problem. It's my, my pleasure. I'd like to have someone like you uh, give some good information to my, to my subscribers. It's a very important topic, health insurance you know, because it costs so much in the U.S., okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, hope you have a good day, and Thank thanks you. a lot, okay? Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks, guys, and uh, remember to hit me up if you have any questions, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Have a beautiful day.